la buena vida. show you some more new style of what's going on in New Zealand. Tonight we are at Barf 21 and we're gonna introduce you to the New Zealand Fair Bantanen champion, Ton Barbieri, a very hot Brazilian guy. Let's check this out. This is Annabella Bianchi and here we are with Tom Barbieri. He is the New Zealand Championship of 2009 for Flair Bartender. Let's talk about Tom. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Very good. Thanks. So talk to us about your Flair Bartender. You just been the New Zealand Championship last year. Yeah, I just won the New Zealand Championship which was last year. So now I'm going to represent New Zealand in the World Bartender Competition. It's going to be in Singapore in November. Great! Yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. That's awesome. And you're going to be representing New Zealand. How is it? You're Brazilian. Yeah. You've just been here for how long? Yeah, I've been here for two years now. But I fall in love for New Zealand, so I, I just stayed here. I started in Brazil. been doing that for eight years now. I did a bartender course. Mm -hmm. So yeah. to, you need to be a good bartender first to be a flair bartender. Uh, okay. So, and then I started to practice, practice. I started to compete around six years ago and I became two times uh, Latin American champion and I've been in Guatemala, Mexico, uh, Las Vegas, Spain, Everywhere. Yeah, Australia, New Zealand, yeah. Competing is great because always they pay for you to travel so and you meet new people so you always want to keep traveling and keep practicing and keep being on the top so on the last three years the flare bartending they just practicing a lot and it's growing i've been working here as a manager now and i got this next competition which is gonna be the world competition i'm gonna represent new zealand on the international bartenders association competition in november it's gonna be in singapore you have to prepare a cocktail in throwing bottles they will count points for your cocktail and for your moves as well, like your tricks. So you have points for originality, for uh, how do you interact with the crowd. They give you like five minutes. So yeah, it looks a lot to do like two or three cocktails. But for us, we have to do different routines. For example, we have a routine with one shaker and one bottle and then two shakers, one bottle and keep going three bottles, four bottles, some guys five bottles. I mean, if I get between top 10, I would be pretty happy because it's like, it's the hardest competition in the world. Uh, there is people from everywhere, uh, 15, 55 countries competing. Sometimes when we're getting close to the competitions, we have to stay after work practicing. Pretty much practice around eight hours a night. Perfect. So, and just what about this bar? Now you're working as a manager, so how do you feel about it? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. We just uh, reopened the bar uh, 21 at Sky City. If you guys want to come over for a drink, uh, yeah, it's an awesome bar. We have learned to play area where, where they teach you how to play blackjack and roll it. And we have like pretty much the best DJs in Auckland playing here. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Perfect. Yeah. And what about the staff that you're managing here at Bar 21? And do you teach them how to do flair? Is part of the requirements to be a bartender in Bar 21? Yeah, uh, you have to keep always your staff trained. So you always teaching them. Because, for example, I'm a flair bartender, and you are a customer. If you come to my bar and you want to see a flair bartender, and it's my day off, somebody else will have to do it. Yeah, so it's not just, just like me. All the guys I try to teach them how to do it as well. Yeah. 
All right, well done. Thank you very much for your time. It was lovely to meet you and talk to you about Flair. Any advice that you want to give to anyone who has passion for Flair? Uh, just practice and be a... First, you need to be a bartender. You need to how to make cocktails and then practice a lot. Yeah.